Hey everybody, Rod Fitzwell here from FM99, and boy, am I excited to be out here at Headlights in Chesapeake with a very special guest, Bridget the Midget. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? You look fantastic. Thank you. Now, I'm very excited. She, uh, if you're not familiar with her work, she has been a star of the stage, the big screen, the small screen. You've done it all. Yes, I have. You've TV done it all. shows, big movies. Yeah. I hope they serve beer in hell to um, <laughs> what fantasy football? Um, what was that? Uh, uh, the league. The league. Yeah. Yes, the league on FX. Yeah, I did a great episode mm -hmm. with um, Seth Rogen, and yeah, it was awesome. Awesome, and you were also uh, in the movie SWAT. Mm -hmm. Yes, I had a big part in that. Yeah, but you were in it, so it counts. Yes, I was. Okay, let me ask you some questions now. It counts because I get royalties for it, so. That's good, and you know what? I just watched that on Netflix like a couple of weeks ago, so hopefully you get a couple of cents off that. I do, I do. Anyone who rents my movies or watches any of them, yeah, I totally get a couple of cents here and there. Fantastic. Now, uh, she's going to be performing out here at Headlights, and she's also going to be performing in Elizabeth City, but we do have some questions for her. Uh, like any interview, I like to look up who I'm interviewing just in case there's something I missed, and I, even though I'm familiar with Bridget the Midget, I didn't realize you were you were born in Boise, Idaho. Yes, I was. The uh, Potato State. The Potato State. Now that leads me into my next question because when you think of Idaho, you think of potatoes. You know, it was kind of like Maine. You think of lobsters, Georgia. You think of peach. Have you ever done anything uh, in you know one of your acts with a potato? Um, no, but someone gave me this really great idea to do a Mister uh, Miss Potato Head act. I know it sounds strange, but but you can make it work. Yes, I could definitely make it work with some like big fake lips and. Have you ever worked with any vegetable <laughs> or fruit? Vegetable or fruit. Um, no, I don't think so. Lobster? Um, yeah, I have worked with a lobster before. Fantastic. I worked uh, on eating it. It was a very good <laughs> uh, What is the, the most difficult thing about your job as far as dancing? Because I'm looking at you, and, and I know you go by the name Bridget the Midget, and I'm guessing Midget's not really your last name. No. Uh, is, it, is it difficult to work the pole being only three foot nine? Um, no, it's not difficult to work the pole at all. I mean, anyone can work the pole. You just feel the music, grab the pole, and mm, do your thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, of all the uh, places that you've uh, worked the pole, uh, give me the best and the worst story. Like, if you had a like, if you were at a party one night and, and you're just talking to all your friends, you go, "Hey, I was at this place and this happened." Well, what was it? Sometimes the poles they are steady, and some of them actually turn. And I went on stage and I asked him, I go, is that pole, you know, hard or does it turn? And the girl says, it's stiff. So I went up and the thing wasn't and I kind of grabbed it and it turned on me and I woo, went flying off stage. Oh my gosh. Did you break um, any bones? No. The worst thing that ever happened to me on stage though was um, one time I was dancing at a club and it looks like some guy bet his friend. I'm not sure, but I think. Basically the dude gave me a dollar and then punched me in the face. Like just socked me. So that's probably one of the worst things that happened. Um, one of the best things that happened... Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Hang on. Somebody punched you in the face? Yeah. What happened to that guy? I hope somebody beat the hell out of him. Oh, yeah. Um, the whole club turned into a riot, actually. Just everyone started rioting. Like, oh, you can't do that to her. And he, you know, his, his friends fought his That's friend. horrible. How can you punch Bridget the Midget? That's terrible. Um, I did have one guy also um, bet this one guy who... Uh, he bet him like a hundred bucks if you just come by me, pick me up, and just run off out of the club with me. And he did. So he picked me up. He got about three feet from my bodyguard tackled. <laughs> yeah, I saw your bodyguard when I came in, and I will tell you one thing. Big I'm not, ball guy. I yeah. will not be messing with that gentleman. Mm -hmm.